They didn't have the turntables. No. So he just did all the turntables, the scratches with the guitar. He pulled out a fidget spinner and guitar and went like this. <laughs> yeah. And he was like... Brrr. That's pretty good and Then idea. he flipped it up and said... <laughs> yeah. Just broke it. Hey, they say that I'm talking a whole lot of trash. I'm sitting there thinking like, who knew? I know that you've seen us on rappers react. They're talking about us on YouTube. Hollywood six, it look like I do magic. Maybe he's practicing voodoo. I'm hearing you're getting a lot of attention. Well, I'm here to say that we do to deliver the rubbish. I'm What's going on, everybody? We're back with another segment of Rappers React. Smoke dog. What up? I have trivia. Yep. What year was the luxury brand Tiffany and Co. founded? Was it 1637, 1737, 1837, or 1937? Uh, uh, I actually know this because this hey, is my mom's favorite jewelry. That's uh, all really? she always wanted. It's got to be 1937. Right? Incorrect. Is it 1837? You're correct, my friend. I know it couldn't be the 1600s. Yeah. Like, I don't even know if the diamond craze had begun by then. I'm not sure. Trash talkers, if you know, let us know down in the comments. What's, what U.S. city is nicknamed the birthplace of the nation? Which city in America mm -hmm. is the birthplace of the nation? It's nicknamed the birthplace, birth, uh, birthplace of the mm. nation. Uh, it's got to be in the Northeast. Correct. That was the first places that were settled. Was it in Massachusetts? Nope. Uh, was it in Maine? Uh, Virginia? Um, both, um, Maryland? Um, I'll give you a hint. Was it Philadelphia? You are correct, my right. friend. Damn, you said skip the, 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 <laughs> yeah. the state. I'll just give you the city. All right. <laughs> They got a lot of nicknames for this. Oh, city. yeah. City of Brotherly Love. Uh, yeah. Bunch of Liberty them. City. All right. Uh, potophobia is the fear of what? Potophobia? Potophobia. Oh, potophobia. Uh, you tell me. How, how would you pronounce it? Potophobia is what uh, I would say. Potophobia? Potophobia? Uh, um, man, I mean, it sounds like you're afraid to smoke the, the Mary Jane. Uh, not pot. Pod. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, I saw something crazy on this. Is it a. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I mean, a pod, though, it sounds like being confined spaces or enclosures, but uh, I, I have no clue. What is it? Feet. Feet. Yes. Like, I would say, like, when you get a, uh, 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 what are they called? A, a pedif? A pedicure. Pedicure. Yeah. I didn't want to say the wrong peta there. But let's do some <laughs> yeah, quick, would you rather? <laughs> uh, trash talkers, feel free to play along with us down in the comment section. Smoke dog. Mm -hmm. What's something you will never do again something i will never do again my first thought is going to somebody else's wedding it'd be rude dude to you must have no, had a though. terrible <laughs> event just... like what if i got married and i needed a best man like come on bro you ain't gonna be my yeah that's why that's what i'm saying like i would do it it's just not fun um what if it's a what is a really bad experience i had hey Go through addiction again. That's what I was going to say, yeah. is I will never go through addiction again. Yeah. I guess, that, I mean, that's, yeah, I'll go with We're that. We're going to wrap it up. Yeah. That's something, that was the worst time of my life. I will never do that again. Mm -hmm. To that particular substance. Mm -hmm. No, any of Anyway, but no, real quick, you had brought up uh, the fear of marijuana. I saw, uh, Trash Talkers, let me know if y'all have heard about this uh, in the comment section. But there was a, a, a younger white lady who... Mm -hmm stabbed her boyfriend 108 times and got two months on pro on prob of probation and she blamed it on uh, uh, psychosis from marijuana Eesh. two months for stabbing somebody for 108 times i've heard of that story i'm sure you've seen it. it's been on social media yeah i'm sure you have all right so this is new metal monday mm -hmm. one of your favorite bands uh, for some reason, I feel like we've done this song, or maybe it's just I've heard you talk about it a lot. So just name some some popular songs that you like. <laughs> Which ones have we not done? Do you know the album? No, it starts with an animal. Uh, gorilla, gorilla, not gorilla radio. Chicago. Bull, oh, Bulls on Parade? You got it, my All friend. Right. Guys, before we get started, please do us a big, big favor. Y'all, please hit that thumbs up button. Guys, please subscribe to the channel. And for God's sake, leave us a comment and tell us what to react to next. That's how we get that is for these videos. I call the right from you. Right down in the comment section. 
Hey, two, day. It's time to explore the nuance of new metal because it's new metal Monday. It's new metal Monday, Smoke Dog. Mm-hmm. One of your favorites. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Now, a lot of people are probably gonna come into the comment section and say, "Well, oh, this isn't technically new metal." How? Uh, because they were around before new metal was branded new metal, and they were just rap metal. But, however. Once the genre was formed, they fell directly into it. So this is new metal. Would, are you being a true Rage fan? Mm-hmm. Is Rage new metal? Yeah. Okay. Have See, they all... I, I don't have that aversion to it like some people do. You know, like people hate labels so much that, and especially if it's a label like I like this band, but I don't like that genre, so I don't want this band to be in that, that genre. genre. Yeah. You know? So have they always been new metal to you though? Well, uh, I, to you. Not to the consensus of the other I remember uh, when I was working at Hardee's when I was a kid. and Favorite burger at Hardee's, go. There was, huh? Favorite burger at Hardee's. Oh, the Monster Burger. All right, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. But uh, there was this Jamaican guy that worked there. And he kind of, like, is the one that told me about Rage Against the Machine. I knew of them, but he kind of turned me on to them. Zach's got kind of a Jamaican vibe to him, you know? Yeah, yeah. But uh, I was like, so what genre do you consider this? And he was like... He said, that's alternative. I was like, alternative? That doesn't sound like alternative. Well, I maybe. was like, isn't it, would it be rap? And he was like, it's alternative rap. You know? <laughs> I don't think he was too into labeling the genres. Yeah. And but. even back then, you, you know, you weren't as, you know, uh, knowledgeable about yeah, genres. Yeah, exactly. So you probably was like, okay, cool. Yeah, okay. and I was like, rap, but it's it's, it's metal, metal, but it's rap. I mean, <laughs> yeah. uh, give me the guitars, come on. You love, uh. Tom Morello. Uh, yeah, Tom I mean, Morello. One of the greatest guitars. I mean, the dude, yeah. I, I swear, I, this dude had a guitar and it sounded like a flute. Mm hmm. How? Yeah, he, he was so innovative with it. Like, he would take a screwdriver and make weird sounds on it. Like, they didn't have the turntables. No. So he just did all the turntables, the scratches with the guitar. He pulled out a fidget spinner and guitar and, and went like this. <laughs> yeah. He was like, That's pretty good. And then idea. he flipped it up and said, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just broke it. But uh, <laughs> no, nah, man. You listen. I, 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 if y'all have been around for a while, y'all, y'all remember one of the first Rage videos, or maybe the first two. I was like, I'm not the biggest fan. I've mm-hmm. come around. I've come around. You know, mm-hmm. not only because of their music being fire, not only because I respect Tom Morello and what he does mm-hmm. on the guitar, not only do I f with Zach's lyrics, but also the the impact that they had against, yeah. like, saying, F the man, dude. Yeah, exactly. So they they were raging man. against the machine. And they, it fits perfectly. Yeah. Now, I know somebody is going to talk about it in the comments, but we're not talking about their political views no. and if they're rage for the machine these days or whatever. We're talking about the music they made during this time. But see, now I have to ask you, what is this? Okay, you know what this song Bulls on, on Parade is about. Mm-hmm. Is it Bulls on Parade? Bulls on Parade. So let me guess. Okay. Bulls on, like it's almost like oh, don't you come in ruining my parade? It's like, <laughs> yeah. it, it, uh, well, we'll see. Smoke up. Uh, what up? Let's get into it. Let's do it. Oh, we get lyric too. I've been listening to that. And that's the guitar? Yeah. Who in it Get 
just now doing it yeah i mean i actually know like i said i know of the name of the song from you speaking of it so much mm-hmm. and no we yeah, yeah, yeah. never covered it this was a huge song in the 90s you know something i do remember you saying mm. you you saying something like this was like a mashup or something close to stone cold's entrance or oh something? yeah that is true yeah they um when Stone Cold was first getting his own entrance music, when he became Stone Cold. We're talking about the glassway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So he went to Jim Johnson, the, the music maker for WWE at that time. And he said, I want something that sounds like Bulls on Parade. So if you play the, those two, you play Stone Cold's entrance music and Bulls on Parade side by side, you're like, okay, yeah, they copied Bulls There's on Parade. There's some inspiration Parade. there. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Poor, shout out Poncho. <laughs> Poncho. If you know, you know. Yeah. But no, dude, man, I I know you say that wasn't a turntable, and I'm I, yeah. I I'm I'm gonna trust you. But I do want to ask the trash talkers. Trash talkers, is Tom a real? Did he really do that, <laughs> or did like did like is there some hidden secret like in the studio? In the they studio, they, they like, did it. Look, just don't tell nobody. <laughs> and just then when he plays it live, he just does. Yeah, it. <laughs> just does it like like because that sounded. Very similar to. A oh, turntable. it sounds like a turntable. And for I, sure. I'm not taking anything from the innovativeness, if that's mm-hmm. even a word, from Tom Morello. But God dang, the dude! Is there a Rage Against the Machine without a Tom? Mm, I doubt it. I mean, Zach would have probably been a rapper. I don't. If he didn't meet Tom, I don't think he would have been in metal. Are they the founding too? Uh, I think all four of them met in college. Oh. Uh, Tom Morello went to Harvard. I guarantee you, Zach majored in like, like, uh, uh, like, whatever war is, whatever, <laughs> like, political, political science, science or yeah. something like that. Yeah. yeah. Tom Morello majored in music. Yeah. Man. Yeah. I don't know. And they all had a message and they're like, hey, we all agree on these things. Let's start a band. You remember that lecture Miss Miss Cal- Miss Carson was giving us about about you know the government trying to take over everything? Yeah. Well, let's rage against that. <laughs> yeah. You know what? We should, we should call that a ban. Rage against. Rage against the, the machine. machine. Yeah. Yes. And they all high five and it's the end of the movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what kind of music we gonna do? Burn, jazz. Burn, no, <laughs> heck no. Tom comes in. Burn, burn. Yeah. Bro, bro, I'm like straight up dead honest. Like, if 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 I, this was the very first song that I ever heard of Rage, mm. I would have never ever said, "Look, bro, I I really don't get it." You know, yeah. if if this was the very first song, I would have been like, "Okay, yes, bro, mm-hmm. this is it." Because this song goes dumb, doofy. Yeah, absolutely. And that is the thing about Zach is. He's a rapper. Like, you rarely hear him sing. Yeah, he's a like, rapper. He, he's a rapper, and he just happened to be in a metal band. So, they kind of invented new metal. 
Are you saying what I think you're saying, young mm-hmm. man? People can point to to the funk metal bands of, you know, like Red Hot Chili Peppers and Faith No More. They can point to that and say, okay, so that was kind of the, the beginnings of it. When they were taking funk, adding a little rap over it and making it heavier, and, you know, you, you got that. But this was the first band dedicated to rap metal. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Mm-hmm. Say it. What, that Rage Against the Machine invented new metal? He said it. Yeah. Trash talkers, let us know if y'all agree. I mean, hey, he could yeah. Smokey could be onto something there. And then you know the 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 bands, uh, Corn and uh, Deftones, and they all followed suit. They yeah. all followed. Yeah. They followed suit. Now speaking of followed suit, I said, uh, let me try to take a guess of what this is about. I think it's. I don't. know. What song is it? So you do. Actually, I'm thinking of something different. I'm thinking, okay, the, the phrase that I brought up earlier, don't rain on my parade. Mm-hmm. Basically, just let me do what I want as long as I'm not hurting nobody. Mm. No? Am I? No? Yeah, not thinking politically enough. Okay, all right. Now let me go with my second thought. Mm-hmm. War. Yes. Okay, and the reason I say yes. that is like, hey, we're we're the bull in the China cabinet, and we can take over anything and yeah. just be as aggressive as we possibly yeah. want because our government is just that much more yeah. bigger, stronger, faster than the rest of y'all. Yeah, now you're getting it. Oh, yeah. now I got it. <laughs> and it was about the politicians, the the warmongering politicians that uh, you know basically saw America as the, the world superpower, and we can just take over and do what we want. That's what they were raging against at the time. You know, rally around the family where you would see politicians like we're all about family and love and keeping it together but on the other hand we're going over into that other country and killing them all f them all can you ball. rally around a family with a pocket full of shells oh, oh yeah damn and they're talking about history like they don't gotta burn the books they just remove them history yeah. is written by the winners like yeah you can just write your own history books and give it to the schools. i mean that's what a lot of people say that's why it's called history it's his story, story. yeah i mean mm-hmm. hey if you, and like you said you don't have to burn the books remove them there's yeah. a lot of books removed from the bible mm-hmm. like why is the book of enoch in the bible I mean, there's yeah, a lot of... Exactly, it's, because someone who had power be, said, we're taking that out. And make it his mm-hmm. story, hence history. Yes. Damn it, rage makes you think like this. Mm-hmm. Listen, man, usually... You know what? I wasn't even, I'm not even going to say that, because I know everyone, hope you guys had a great weekend, and usually New Metal Mondays are meant to make you turn up, and I was going to say, this make you made you think, but mm-hmm. this make you going to do both. Not only did you get a history lesson, but I guarantee you, everybody who just listened to the song with this, guarantee your heart rate's bumping and your blood pressure's mm-hmm. up right now. Guarantee it is. Yes. 100%. Yes. And just because of the message, though, I will put this out there, that just mean, doesn't mean you're anti-veteran no. or whatever. It's all about the control that the elites have. Try to have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Trash Talkers, you guys give us your explanation on Bulls on Parade because I think me and Smoke Dog might be pretty much spot on. Just curious to see mm-hmm. what the Trash Talkers would say. But, guys, thank y'all for hanging out with us on this new Metal Monday. Let us know what's next by Rage Against the Machine down in the comment section and let us know what's next for next new Metal Monday. And with that being said, my name's Beringer Hollywood 6. Bye. I am Larry Smokey Ramirez. Come and we are. Over and out. Doosters. Yeah, boy. I want to thank you guys for spending a little bit of time with us today. If you want to see the last video we did, just click right over here. Or if you want to see another artist that we covered, just click right over here. If you guys want to support the channel, please consider joining our Patreon right over here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one. Deuces.